Hey guys, I'm Karen. You're welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Well, today it's a kind of get ready with me, shop my stash. I don't have anything new. I'm waiting for a bundle of palettes to arrive, but it takes a long time. But today I have a new sponge. That I've been trying for a few days. This is from Real Techniques. This is how the packaging looks like. This is basically a miracle powder sponge but I'm using it to apply my foundation because I usually don't um, use a sponge to apply powder. I usually use the sponge for the foundation and the concealer and so on so let's try and use this sponge for applying foundation i'm using my mac this is the studio fix fluid it has spf which is wonderful because i'm going outside of course i already applied my entire face with moisturize and serums well serums first and moisturize what I like about this sponge that it doesn't absorb a lot of product so I'm thinking I took a tiny bit from the back of my hand and it covered my entire half face so and it, you know, it works like a regular powder, a uh, regular sponge, but it's, even though I washed it right now, it is drier than a regular sponge. So it absorbed the water better than a regular sponge, and it is drier than a regular sponge and it's doing a great job with the application of the foundation so this is not the first time i think it is the third time me using it yep i think third time because the other one and look how much i have on the back of my hand uh, i think i need just two two pumps when i use this so I'm basically doing a second coat. <laughs> uh, well, my black sponge by Nikkei Cosmetics was full of holes and getting full of bacteria, so I got rid of it. Okay, next up, concealer, and I'm using the MAC Studio Fix. Now I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm back in the office every day. I don't work from home anymore. So I kind of apply my makeup every day now. <laughs> okay, I'm using the tip of the same sponge. So it's really, really strange to go to the office every day. Traffic, traffic jams, kind of, you know, we forgot about it, but... Okay, now I'm using my Wet and Wild eyeshadow primer, Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. Just applying it a tiny bit to the back of my hand, if I will be able to. Yep. Even that's a lot. Well, it's kind of almost over, so I just want to finish it. And I'm just taking with the same sponge and applying it to the lid. Now I wanted to use my MAC paint pod, but I didn't find it. My daughter arranged my makeup table and I can't find anything now, so <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> I know, but it looks beautiful. It's organized and really looks nice, but I'm so white. Look at that. <laughs> but I'm white in, on the, in the camera. If I'm looking in the mirror, it looks good. So, I think he did a good job with the application of the foundation. But I have a lot of pores here. So, well, I didn't apply primer. I know I should have. Okay, now let's see what I have here in the box. As I said, my girl organized everything, so she put everything in boxes. So I'm using my powder by Focalure. This is this, the Flawless Setting Powder. Well, thanks to her, I'm using this powder because I didn't. I don't know where all my powders are. Okay. Now I'm just taking my huge brush, taking some of the powder, and applying. Okay, now I'm looking at the clock, and it's too late. I have to get out. If I won't get out now, in the next, let's say, five minutes, I will have a lot of traffic, which is not fun at all. I'm using my bronzer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade. This is a powder bronze in the shade Rosewood. I haven't used this for a very long time. And kind of found it less recently. And now since it's in the box, it's easier to access. It was really, really nice coming home one day from work and discovering that my makeup table is arranged. She put, she put on the table black um, tablecloth and organized everything in boxes and everything else is on the table in little containers really really nice uh, so this was the powder and now let's blush and I'm using my elf primer infused blush in the shade always cheeky again this is the first thing here in the box so this is what I've been using for a few days now since she organized my table it's so nice of her it's a big big surprise okay for highlighter I'm using this guy by Focalure Sculpt and Glow in the shade 03 and I'm just using the highlighter this is how, oops. This is how it looks like and I'm using the highlighter so I'm just taking a highlighter brush or a fan brush if you want look at that so beautiful okay you're going here and let's do eyebrows and for eyebrows i'm using my elf duo this is so beautiful let's see where my brush is here it is so this is a cute duo in the shade light so i'm just taking the lightest shade from this palette and applying it where i still have hair on my eyebrows And taking the darkest shade and applying it where I don't have a lot of hair. Now let's speed things up a bit. Okay, it's taking too long. I didn't plan for it to take too long. Okay, so eyebrows are done. I'm just doing something quick, I'm not exaggerating i am going to the office I'm not going to a party or anything now i'm using my wet and wild mega clear gel which is not so clear anymore it's more brown i don't know how people keep their clear eyebrow gel clear you know but i'm applying it over the powder it makes sense that it will not be clear anymore right 
Okay, so this box is going to its place. Now let's take the palette. I'm using my newest addition to my Colourpop eyeshadow palette family, the Lemoncello palette. This is how it looks like. This is a beautiful palette. Now I'm going to create a very very simple look using only three shades, starting with this shade here named not this one here, so this guy here. This is called Semi Freddo. And I'm just taking it on my crisp brush, tapping off the access. There is access, not a lot, and there's a huge mirror here, so it's very, very easy for me to apply my makeup. So I'm just taking a bit more, adding some more to the crease, and the same on the other side. There is fallout, but not a lot of fallout. If it's in something that interests you, then this shade doesn't have a lot of fallout. But always tap off the axis, especially if you already did your, done your entire face. Addition to the other side as well. Okay, now I'm taking a flat brush. I'm taking the brownest and darkest shade, Vipa. Okay, focus my Yeah, so I started with this shade, now I'm going to this shade, and then I will use the green here. Okay, so I'm just adding it to the um, outer corner of my eye. Like that. This is the look I created yesterday and it turned out so beautifully so I thought I'll just repeat it. So I'm just adding it to the outer corner of my eye like that. Okay, now the green which is called Capri. Oh, this was Vespa, I don't know. This guy was Vespa. I think I said another something else. I'm just like, taking it with my finger. <coughs> it's morning, so I just woke up. Uh, look at this beautiful green, and I'm just applying it all over the lid. Tapping motions. I didn't apply any powder to the lid then it sticks beautifully very creamy very rich very pigmented very easy to work with buttery consistency I love it as you can see very 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 easy to apply and a very beautiful shade look, look at that gorgeous okay now I'm taking a small angled brush where are you here you are and I'm taking from the same brown dark brown the Vespa this guy here to the lower lash line and I am connecting it as you can see to the lower lash line so from the middle of the lash very easy and connecting it to what I did on the lid 
and at taking the Capri, the yellow, yellow, the green shade, and adding it to the inner corner. Okay, this something is happening. You can see it fell to the inner corner. I don't know, but it happens only in, on this arm. And it happened with various shades, so I don't think it has anything to do with this. I think it's maybe my eye. So just tapped it with my sponge and I'm adding the green. Like that. To the other side and this is it this is the finished look using the lemon cello so i'm using my um, lip oil by colourpop this is in the shade local time so i'm just adding some color i'm going to be under the mask anyway so so i'm just adding it for a bit shine and a bit moisture to my lips okay now i have to apply mascara before that i'm going to use my setting spray by Too faced the hangover three in one just shaking it closing my eyes and my my eyes and my lips okay this is nice i usually do it before the mascara sometimes mascara runs away so I'm just applying my mascara this is my essence lash princess false lash effect this is so weird that I'm looking at the name of the mascara because I've been using it for such a long time and I know the name by heart but every time I look again to see the name so I'm just coating my lashes I'm not doing anything special wow I can look close and this green is divine it really is show it to it in a minute I just finish with the mascara and I'll show you the final look and then I'm going to dash to work because I'm late So I just coated and a tiny bit wrinkling it. And that's it. I'm not applying on the lower lash line. It smears usually, so this is the final look. What do you think? nice look for the office in my opinion very easy just just three shades a beautiful beautiful palette the lemon cello okay so this is everything if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you all in my next video bye